Hello guys. Right, it's the charity raffle which I was organising a month ago, two months ago. Um, something I need to say about it, okay? I drew this, I did it about five hours before I set off for America. And my idea was I was going to post the video results as soon as I got into America, yeah? Now, got to America and realised I'd deleted the video of me doing the draw. What I did, I had one camera on the computer and one camera on me. I've still got the footage of me doing the draw on the computer, which will be coming up later, okay? But the pictures of me, straightforward, aren't there, so I can't make a, a decent video of it. So I'm just going to rush through this. Um, basically, I'll show you all the prizes first, here they are. And now I'm going to show you everybody's numbers. Everybody who donated, here's your numbers. So now it's up to you what you want to do. You can either go to this point in the video, I'll put the minutes here, the minutes and seconds here. Go to this point and just watch the screen as I'm doing it and me talking in the background. It goes on for about 20 minutes, 25 minutes I think. But it's all live and it just proves that I'm not cheating in any way. So I need, I need to put that on. So if you want the, the long version, go to that. If you want the quick version, stay with me because I'm simply going to show the prizes and tell you who's won. So it's up to you, make your choice now. Okay, so everyone else who's left, I'm guessing you just want to see the prizes and who won. So I'm very quickly running through them because it's all at the end of the video if you really want more information on every one of them. Including who donated them all the rules at the beginning. If you do win one of these prizes, please do watch the end bit because it's quite important. Um, you need to know who's donated it and, you know, I, I might go into details on the product, whereas I don't on this. It's just a quick run through. So here goes. Prize number one, ghost headphones. Okay. With all the prizes which are coming from my house, by the way, which I'm going to show you here, you get a Garrett badge as well, because I've got some of them left over. So the headphones were won by number 654 Chris M. Congratulations, Chris. Fantastic headphones, trust me. Second prize, there's uh, 14 prizes in total, I think. No, 16, so I'll rush through them. Second one was some uh, headphones, some brushes, my DVDs, and a kid's game, Rock and Gem Dig Kit. The winner of that is number 417, Joshua Thatter. Well done, Joshua. Third prize is this uh, spade. Fantastic spade there, won by number 1695, uh, Glenn Thomas. Well done, Glenn. Fourth prize is this book. It's a signed book by the author. Um, won by number 604, Gordon Anderson. The next prize, one of the best prizes, I think. Um, an authentic, real World War II Iron Cross. And that's won by number 1386... David Stable. Well done, David. 
Look at you. That was donated by Dave up in Scotland. Um, prize number seven. Really good gloves. A little Garrett uh, pouch. Some cleaning brushes and my DVDs. They were won by number 1613, Karen Foster. Karen Foster, well done. Prize number eight, hammered coins and I think some Roman coins. Here's a picture. I think these are the ones donated by uh, Treasure Hunting Scotland. Won by number 1501, Ken. Well done, Ken. Prize number nine from Mrs. Dracula, my friend, uh, necklace and earrings. Won by number 665, John, John Scott Arnold. Well done, John. Prize number 10 is Mike's rucksack. That is the one on the right of this picture. That's been won by 1029, Rob Barrow. And my rucksack, which is the one on the left of the picture, has been won by Michael Owen, 1792. Uh, oh, fantastic prize. World War II American helmet. Soldier's helmet. Found in France. Fantastic prize goes to number 1703, Gary and Joe Walker. Well done, Gary and Joe Walker. I'd have liked that myself. I've got a couple of helmets here. Uh, number 13... I don't mean ticket number 13, I mean prize number 13, sorry. Some uh, some more brushes and knee pads. Uh, a commemorative coin, I think that is. And a silver, solid silver, one pound coin. Beautiful, beautiful. As I say, all the people who've donated these... Um, or who've won a prize especially, please watch the end of the video to see who donated it and learn more about the product. Next prize was a World War II German silver coin with the SWAT sticker on there and a Charles and Diana commemorative coin. Um, that is won by 1566 Valerie. Well done Valerie. Two more to go. Basically a bag full of uh, fines in here. Loads of fines. I'm not going to get them all out, but loads of metal detecting fines. And a £5 coin. An English £5 commemorative coin with a certificate of, of authenticity there. Brilliant prize. Won by... Oh, this is from Darren, by the way, in Hull. Um, won by number 1830, Joe Dodson. Well done, Joe. And the last prize, fantastic, is the World War One. It's not from World War One. It's just a World War One model, if you like. It needs a good. It needs a good uh, polish. It's not being polished. I'm not polishing it for you. Um, so yeah, this wonderful plane. Repo from a World War One plane. Um, that's been won by number 170, Norm Bigfoot Digger. So, I'm sorry for the confusion. I'm sorry for it being late. As I say, if you just want to watch it, it staring at the screen and me talking properly for like 25 minutes, really going through everything... Um, please continue watching and it'll all be on there. If you did win something, please send me your your, your address to deepdiggerdan at hotmail.co.uk But please just watch the next bit and just listen to the rules and watch the bit where you won a prize just to learn about the prize, who donated it. And uh, I think that's about it. I can't wait to get this one out of the way. I'll get these prizes out, it might not be till the 1st of August, we'll see, but please 
Um, everyone who wants to claim a prize, make sure it's by the 1st of August because I've got other things to plan in the future. I need these sorted. Um, but I'll get them out as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Um, and thank you very much to everybody who donated for Macmillan Cancer Care. We made, I don't even know how much, three, three and a half thousand pounds. Uh, I don't know, five thousand dollars, something like that. Absolutely amazing. Thank you so much and a massive thank you to everybody who donated prizes as well. Um, see you all later guys. Take care. Right, hello everybody. It's time for the charity raffle. Everybody who donated before June the 1st to Macmillan Cancer Support, which is the charity I was trying to raise money for when I did the Adrian's Wall walk, which is now complete. Everybody who did that... Uh, was into a raffle. There's about 220 people who were in the raffle. If you donated like £50, you've got 50 numbers. If you donated £3, you've got three numbers. You can only win once, so you win the first prize, which I pull out. Um, if there's any more rules, I'll stick them up now, yeah, so you can read through them. I don't any arguing about this. If any of the prizes don't get to you, um, all I can do is apologise. People who have said they're going to donate and send the prizes to you, I just hope they do send the prizes. If they don't, I'm sorry, I can't be responsible for that. Um, all the prizes you see here, which I'll be showing you, which I've got, I will definitely post. Okay? But I'm sure they're all going to post them, so don't worry. So, I want to crack on. I'll quickly show you what I've done here. Um, we're on random.org. So this is how many tickets, how many entries there are, 1,844. But as I say, you can only win once. So there's, that's, you can narrow that down to 220 chances of... There's only 220 people can win, and there's 16 prizes. So that's your odds, OK? And on this other page, I'll show you this now. I'll show you pictures of them all, but... This is everybody's names and the numbers. So you might want to pause it. I'm going to show them now. You might want to pause it where your name is, write your numbers down, and then you can see as it's generating if you've won straight away or not. Anyway, so this camera, as you can see, is on, and that's pointing at the computer. This camera is pointing at me. I'm doing it all live. There's not going to be any cuts, hopefully. Um, so let's get straight on to it. I'm in a rush because I'm off to America in about 12 hours, okay? I've got things to do, so I'm really going to rush through this. Right, 16 prizes. Prize number one. Headphones. All the prizes I've got here, you're also going to get a little Garrett badge as well, a little metal Garrett badge. But this is prize number one. Uh, Grey Ghost headphones. The cost of fortune. Over £100, top of the range. Second hand, I've used them a couple of times, but they're still literally a couple of times. They're like new. So that's uh, one of the best sets of headphones you can get for metal detecting. And I'm sure they're good for anything else as well. So, Greyphone headphones, who's going to win? Let's get on the generator. Where are we? There we are. You see it there, let me zoom in. So there's your numbers. Let's click generate. Result 654, number 654. Let's take a look, see who that is. 654, 654. That is Chris M. Chris M. All the names here are the names you gave when you donated on the Just Giving page. Exactly how you how you put it, OK? So, Chris M, that's how you put it uh, when you donated. You've just won them headphones, pal. Congratulations. Now, I need to write this down. Chris M. So, this is going to hold me up a bit. Um, what was the number again? Number 654. 654. Okay, prize number two. It's going to take a while, this, isn't it? Prize number two, you get a brush set. You get some headphones. You get my DVDs one and two. 
the quality on them's pretty poor, I have to apologise. They're quite a few years old before cameras were good and HD. And a rock and gem kit, which is fantastic for kids age, what does it say, age 8 plus, I'd say age 6 to 9. It's like sand and jewels in it, and I don't really know, I've not opened it, but something for the kids to play with. That's prize number two. Who's won this one? Um, click generate again. Come on, we haven't got all day. 417. Number 417. Who's 417? Joshua Thatter. Joshua Thatter. Joshua Thatter. Who made a big donation, so thank you, Jonathan. Uh, number 417. I think. Yep, 417. Well done, Jonathan. You've won them. For all you, all these people, you just need to email me your addresses, OK? To deepdiggerdan at hotmail.co.uk if I forget to put it on later. So that's number one. I'm going to get all these mixed up. Prize one. Prize two. Right, prize number three. A digging spade. Now this is a cracker. A cracker of a digging spade. Uh, donated by Roger Nielsen. Thank you very much, Roger. And thank you very much to everybody who has donated prizes. And everybody who did donate money to uh, the charity. Good on you all. Uh, yeah, this is a, a black adder digging spade. I've always wanted one myself. Top of the range digging spade. Never had one. Um... I'll show you a picture of it, and let's crack on and get a winner. Where are we? Generate. Who's won the spade? One six nine five. One of the last ones. One six nine five. One six 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 six. One six nine five. Glenn Thomas. 1695 Glenn Thomas. Well done, Glenn Thomas. Let me write it down. 1695 Glenn Thomas. Okay, moving on. We've got this book, which is from uh, Aaron. Aaron Whelan wrote this book and he's going to sign the book. Um, it's about ghost hunting. He's a ghost hunting investigator. And uh, I went on a ghost hunt the other week, a couple of weeks ago, last week, and uh, he said, I'll donate a book, I'll sign one of my books, and I'll send that out. So you can win this. Let's get on the generator. I'm going as quick as I can, guys. I hope I'm not boring you too much. Generator, result. 604, number 604. Who's 604? Six 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 oh four Gordon Anderson. Well done, Gordon Anderson. Just write you down, Anderson. I'm going to try and edit this whilst I'm on the plane because I've got like two days of travelling. Well, I'm exaggerating a bit. I'm setting off at two o'clock in the morning, and I'm getting. It will be close to 24 hours, I think. I'm not sure. Um, I've got three planes to catch. 6.04. Next one. You're going to love this prize. What a beauty. I'm not putting anything in with this. Just as it is. Iron Cross. Donated by Relic Hunting Scotland. Dave. An original World War II German Iron Cross. You want to win it? Do you want to win it? Well, I hope he donated, because you'll have a chance. Iron Cross, get in. Who has won the Iron Cross? To me, this is the best prize. Certainly one of them. Um, right, generate. Good luck, everybody. 1386. 
1386 1386 1386 that is David Stabile 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 David you've won you've won an iron cross buddy David Stabile Stable 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 I'll I'll just forget that last name David well done 1386 right 5 down 11 to go I think number 6 a reproduction silver hammered coin now this was made this was made by Robert, Robert Mills, up in, I think, Newcastle Way. He can make, you know, he moulds things. And he's, it's 99.9999999999% silver, 9999. And he's, he's made it himself, it's a reproduction of a William the First hammered coin, I think. I think it's William the First. So, good luck with this one. This is, you know, a very um, unique item. Um... Number six, okay. Random.org, click generate. Who's won it? Five, three, two. Five, three, two. Who's five, three, two? Five, three, two. <laughs> Aaron, Aaron the Ghost Hunter has won that. And that is the guy who wrote the Ghost Hunting book. Aaron. <laughs> Brilliant. Aaron Ghost Hunter. That's the first one I've heard of. I haven't heard of the other people. I'm sure I've had contact with some of you, um, but I haven't heard of them. So, Aaron 532. That's karma, you see. You donated a book, you won a silver coin. That's how life works. I like to see that. Right, next. Gloves, DVD. Oh. This is next. You get the Garrett thing again. A little Garrett pouch. Uh, a brush set. My DVDs. And some very, very good gloves. Uh, you can't really tell until you get them and you put them on. But they are really good. Really good gloves. I don't know where I got them from. Someone must have donated them, I'm sure. Really nice gloves. Who's won that? Getting thirsty. Talking too much. Generate. Good luck. 1613. Who's number 1613? 1613 is Karen Foster. Karen Foster. We've got a lady winner. Even ladies can win. Karen Foster. Foster, 1613, very good, let me just try them on Karen, see if they fit a lady, in fact I think they are a bit on the smaller side so they're probably better for a lady, yeah, yeah they, they'll fit you perfectly Karen, honestly, because I've got quite girly, I've got big long fingers but quite skinny and they're nice and snug and tight on me so they'll fit you Karen. Congratulations, Karen. Moving on. Right, this is donated from Mark. Um, Treasure Hunting Scotland. A set of Roman and hammered coins, which is found. How cool is this? I presume he's found them anyway. Uh, let's get on the generator. I'll show you a picture, if I haven't already. One, six... No... Right, generate. Good luck. 1501. There's a lot of high numbers winning today. 1501. 1501. Ken. 1501. Ken. Well done, Ken. Ken. 1501. Yeah, um silver hammered coins and roman coins how cool is that and there's more there than i've probably ever found to be honest with you um prize number nine for the ladies or for a, for a present for your lady necklace and earrings donated by um 
by Dracula's wife, Diane. I don't know if I don't know if this is Whitby Jet. I didn't ask her too much about it, what what it's made out of and stuff, but it looks black. It might be Whitby Jet, which is like a local cool thing. Might not be. I don't know. Anyway, necklace and hear it and earrings. Who's won that? All the men are thinking, oh, don't let it be me, don't let me be, I want to win that other thing. And all the women are saying, oh, I'll have that, I'll have that. Where are we? Right, there we are. Random.org, generate. Good luck, ladies. 665. 665, you're a winner. 665. 6. 6666. 6. 5. John Scott Arnold. You're going to have a very happy, happy wife. Or girlfriend. Or cross-dressing boyfriend, I don't know. Um, John... John Scott Arnold, sorry. I recognise your names, John. Probably from uh, commenting on all my videos. 665. Right, now we've got a rucksack. Um, this is, it's the one on the right. This is Mike, Iron Mike, who I go metal detecting with in Germany. Yeah, the Dutch guy. This is his rucksack, the one on the right. I think it's next to a dog from memory. Uh, who's going to win the rucksack? Generator. Here we go. Generate. 16 minutes already. God. 1,029. 1,029. Scroll. 1,029 is Rob Barrow. Rob Barrow, you've won yourself a rucksack. Rob Barrow. One or two nine. Next, on the same picture is the other rucksack, the one on the left, I think it is, which was my rucksack, the one I took to Germany. Um I couldn't I couldn't carry it back to England. I had too much luggage, so I just told Mike to keep hold of it and we've decided just to throw it in. So uh it's a rucksack which I used in Germany. Uh I'm getting all confused now, to be honest. My head's all scrambled. Generate. Who's won my rucksack? One seven six. They're all high numbers. One seven nine two. One seven nine two. One seven nine two. There we are. Michael Owen. <laughs> Michael Owen's won that one. Um, I'm laughing. Let me just write it down. One nine one seven nine two. I'm laughing about that because I'd actually put his name wrong. I'd put something like Mitchell Owen, and it turned out it was Michael Owen, and, and the corrected me. And is one is one. Well done, Michael. Right, definitely one of the best prizes, if not the best prize. World War Two American helmet. Oh yes. Found in Germ in uh, in France, probably Normandy. Um, I've lost a piece of paper. I've lost a piece. Oh no, I haven't. I found my piece of paper. Uh, this was donated by Mark McEwen. Mark McEwen. Mark McEwen um, from Blackburn in England. Thank you very much, Mark. Thank you. This is a fantastic prize. Right. Good luck with this one, guys. Generate. Are you ready? Good luck. 1703. Now, if this is someone who's already been picked out, they're going to be gutted. 1703. No, they haven't. Whoops, I pressed something there. 1703, Gary and Joe Walker. 1703, Gary and Joe Walker. Going a bit blurred, sorry. Gary plus Joe Walker. 1703. You're just going to have to share it, yeah? 
I don't know, one of you wear it through the day and one at night, or one wear it through the week at work, and the other one wear it at weekends. It's a multi-purpose, you know, you can just swap as, as long as you get on well, Gary and Joe. Um, right, prize number 13, there's four prizes left. Mm. Prize number 13, you get uh, a pack of uh, cleaning brushes, metal brushes. A pack of knee pads, yeah. You get, I don't even know what that is. Some kind of commemorative coin. It says Queen Elizabeth on it, 2014. And on the back there, oh, it's a half crown. A half crown, but from 2014. Obviously like a commemorative coin. I don't think it's silver, um, but yeah, nice coin. It does look in very good... Oh no, it, it is scratched, so it's not mint. But hey, a, a lovely coin. Oh, and... Now this was my favourite, I wanted this. Uh, a solid silver, 99.999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999
Um, oh yeah, and them. That as well. These are donated by Darren, by the way. Our friend Darren in uh, Hull. And the singing Turrapin. <laughs> um, certificate Authenticity came with it. And this is... This is my favourite, actually. This is proper collectible. A British... Five pound coin. Get in. Look at that. I can't tell you much about it. I think Darren said it's gold plated, but I'm doubting that if it's only five pound. It might be. It might be. But it is a five pound British coin and a load of his metal detecting finds as well because he doesn't metal detect anymore. Um, well, hopefully he will again one day, but uh, he's, been, he's had back problems. So, all them from Darren. Who's going to be the lucky one? Who's going to be the lucky one? Who's going to be who I wanted to be? I wanted to win this. Generate. Are you ready? Do, 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 do. One, eight, three, zero. It's all high numbers. One, eight, three, zero. One, eight, three, zero. Joe Dodson. One of the last people who donated just before the deadline. Joe Dodson. Dodson1830 Congratulations to you One last prize ladies and gentlemen Are you ready? It is The World War 1 plane Look at that like cast iron or something Tin, whatever Now just to let you all know This is like a reproduction It isn't a, an original from that era But it it is that design of aeroplane, okay, a World War I aeroplane. It's fantastic. It's going to cost me a fortune to send that abroad if you win it in America. Good luck to everyone who lives just down the road. I can drop it off, save some money. Um, right, last one. We're only joking, by the way. I, I hope everybody wins. Well, I don't care who wins. Well, I do. I just want. I just want to go. Ooh, a low number. We've finally got a low number. One seventy. Number one hundred and seventy. Where is it? Where is it? One seventy. All these low numbers. They'll be gutted. Nothing came out for them. Norm. Bigfoot digger. Norm. Let me write that down. Norm. Bigfoot. Digger, I think it was 170. Right, that's it, guys. I hope that's Norm, my friend Norm, because there is a Norm in America who sent me a couple of parcels in the past. Some really nice, uh, some really nice presents. So I hope it is the big Norm I know. If not, I've nothing against you, Norm, the Bigfoot man. Anyway, that's it, guys. That's your charity raffle. It's gone on for half an hour. I've tried to do it as quickly as I possibly could. Join me next time in America. We're off to America. I've still got a ghost hunt to put up as well, but I have to edit it. I don't know when I'll get to edit it. But we're off to America and we're going in about 12 hours. I'm so excited. So join me then. Thank you all for donating. Thank you for the prizes. Thank you for donating to the charity. And well done to all the winners. Just send me your address in an email to deepdiggerdan at hotmail.co.uk and I'll get them all sent out as soon as I can. But nothing will happen in the next two, two and a half weeks because I'm off to America. <laughs> See you later, guys. Bye-bye.